This video is sponsored by Model3Part.com. For all the latest and greatest Tesla Model 3 accessories, visit Model3Part.com. Hey everybody, what's up? Thank you so much for tuning in. I know it's been a while, and today on the channel, we are gonna talk about the new Tesla update 16.2.1 as it specifically relates to the stop sign and stoplight feature and autopilot. We are gonna jump into Tesla Model 3 and test those features to see if there were any improvements in this update. Without further ado, let's jump into Model 3 and get the test started. So we're just gonna do a couple quick tests to see if the new software update 16.2.1 brought any new enhancements um, to autopilot and the new stoplight and stop sign feature. We're gonna check to see if it works any better, if it's any smoother in its transitions, um, and so on. So we're gonna do a couple stop signs. Gentlemen walking, so that's the new visualization. Test to make sure this thing is working. So one of the issues was is coming to a stop and then going through an intersection. So let's see what happens here. Nope, exactly the same problem that we had um, when the stoplight and stop sign feature first came out. It just doesn't really know what to do in the intersection. So boom, right off the bat, gave you a test. Doesn't appear to be any better. So really just wanted to see if they actually made any enhancements or any changes or any updates to autopilot and to the stoplight and stop sign feature to see if it got any better with this new update. And right off the bat, we can see that it doesn't appear that it did. Is at least from an intersection perspective. Well, and I also call it from a stopping perspective because that was way short of the stop sign and it was sort of abrupt there at the at the end. I was hoping to see some enhancements or some improvements with the stoplight and stop sign feature, um, but it doesn't look like we're quite there yet. And you know, it is something that Tesla is working on in the background. Um, so every time that we get one of these updates, we should see some additional improvements. So here we have a gentleman walking in the street up here. Let's see what the visualization looks like here. Oh, and it stopped. I don't know why the car stopped, but it did. So that was a little odd. And I am in just traffic aware cruise control. I am not an autopilot. Just to give that information out there to you guys. Bicyclist. Wow, so that was cool. Even though he was on the other side of the road, it did show the bicyclist. The bicyclist? Bicyclist? Bicyclist. The guy in the bike. <laughs> um, it showed him red as if he was sort of in my lane, but he wasn't. Um, but it did show the visualization correctly. It was a guy on a bike. That was very cool. The car did slow down. So that was pretty cool as well. Although with the lines, it, it should not have um, really slowed down or anything like that. So um, not horrible. Let's see what it does here. It's trying to go and wow, the guy behind me is like, hey, what is this guy doing? Wow, that was really bad. So now he's gonna pass me. Really? 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 The speed limit's 25 miles an hour. Where do you want to go? Well, I hope that didn't ruin your, your morning, folks. I'm certainly going to try not to let it ruin mine. But, you know, there are just some people around here who just, uh, you know, are, are super impatient and just are a real pain in the ass. I'm sure that goes for everyone. But I guess I was being a little bit of a, a nuisance. I was only going eight miles an hour around a around a turn there. So, yeah, I get it. It's my fault. I'm sorry. But anyway, as I was saying, it still doesn't want to make the proper acceleration through an intersection after a stop. And once we come out of the subdivision here, we are going to be at a stop light. So we'll see how it interacts with that. And, oh, man, look it. I caught up to him. 25 miles an hour. He probably feels embarrassed right now. That's okay. We're just going to go ahead and let him live through his embarrassment. Oh, and he's a FIP. Alright, so light's green. We're going to go ahead and hit the stock to go. And I am going, so that's great. 
whoa, tried to accelerate there real quick. Really slow here, really slow. Wow. So, I mean, I guess the good thing is, is it actually did do it, but it was extremely slow. And I don't know if that's just, you know, the car being cautious or if it just doesn't really know what to do. So, you know, again, wanted to see if there were any improvements in the stop sign and stop light feature. It doesn't appear that there is. So why don't we jump on the expressway here? We'll test autopilot. We'll see how well it stays in the lane. We'll see how well it does some lane changes and we'll call it a wrap. All right, so welcome to the expressway. We are going to engage autopilot and we're gonna just do a couple quick tests, see how well it's working. Here's a test right now. We have some construction. We have a little bit of a lane uh, variation, I would say. It moves a little bit. Did that pretty well. Noticing all the cones. That's fantastic. One thing I did notice in the last update. Yeah, we don't want to go to the right. We should never be making lane changes to the right. One thing I noticed in the previous update is that when using autopilot and when autopilot wants to engage a lane change, it seems to take forever for the car to actually engage and start moving over. And when I mean forever, it's probably, I don't know, two or three seconds. I do have the car set to Mad Max, so it's supposed to be a little more assertive in its lane changes. I don't know what it's doing there. It keeps wanting to turn that way, but you shouldn't, and it's a good thing it turned it off. So I just wanted to see if there was any improvement in that regard. But what it does do, when I actually do a manual lane change while using autopilot, it's immediate like it should be um, in Mad Max. I understand that when the car is doing the automatic lane change, that there are some things that the car needs to, look at this thing, that the car needs to validate and make sure it's happening before it can proceed. But uh, nonetheless, you would think it'd be a little more assertive. As you all know, um, sometimes there is a small window of opportunity for the car to get over. And if it doesn't take that window of opportunity, you may be sitting um, behind or you may have to actually end up cutting somebody off, which isn't ideal either. So let's see what this thing is doing. I, I don't know why it keeps <laughs> wanting to go in the right lane, but it does for whatever reason but it should be looking to get into the left lane. So I'm gonna go ahead and engage a lane change here. So boom, look at that. That was pretty immediate, which is fantastic. And that's how it should work. When it senses the window of opportunity, it should take it. So what I don't understand is why, when I engage the vehicle, does it make that immediate change? I guess it's, it's thinking, hey, he's already validated that it's safe to proceed, I'm going to go ahead and go. But when it wants to do it automatically, there are obviously some other validation things that are happening um, for it to be a little more cautious. So here's some additional lane variations here with some construction cones. Handle that fantastically. It is centered in a lane. It's not moving or anything like that. So it feels very stable from that perspective. And let's see if it gets out of the fast lane here. All right, there we go. One, two, three, uh, almost like four seconds before it made that lane change, but it did sneak in here, a good window of opportunity for it. So it actually did it very good, but now look, it wants to get back over. We're gonna cancel that right now because we're gonna take a different route this morning. But it was smooth, the transition was very smooth. Um, took a little bit longer than I would like, from initialization of the turn signal to when the car actually starts moving is a you know a little bit a little bit longer than I would like. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'm gonna go ahead and scoot over here so the car knows I want to take this route. Um, let me know your thoughts and your experience in in what you have been noticing with autopilot on the new 16.2 version. I'm gonna cancel this real quick. And I'm just going to take control until I can get onto this expressway. Because it does want to take me a different route. And I want to go 
It's a long way to work this morning, man. I am in no rush today. Yeah, so we're just going to take a nice, easy route into work this morning. We're not going to get too worked up about taking the fastest route. We just need to take a breath. Everybody does. Just uh, relax. Enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy some peace and quiet. And I get to do these videos like this for you all. Take a sip of my coffee. Big truck. Big truck. Make a slow turn. Yeah. Coffee is so good. Man, that is just... I don't know what I would do. I love it the coffee. Only one cup a day, though. It's my max. All right. So let's get this thing fired back up here. Drop it into autopilot, see what it does. But again, the whole lane change thing, I don't know. I'd like to see it be a little more assertive when autopilot is initiating that lane change. Um, just like I do when I initiate it, I would love to see that same sequence of events occur. Initiate it, validate, go. And that's why that guy was so impatient with me this morning uh, that passed me is because I wasn't going fast enough for him. And you guys know how it is out on the roads, man. People are so impatient. So if you're doing like the speed limit or only five above, man, people are like, ah, you know, they're crazy. But anyway, my rant for the day, I guess. But autopilot in general, man, no variations, no swerving, none of that. Lane changes are very smooth. Yeah, so not sure it's any better. I think it's about the same, but there are going to be improvements with the new visualization. That's a step forward. Recognizing things, adding motion to them. Those enhancements will make autopilot that much better. Yep, yep, yep. So let's get on, navigate on autopilot. There we go. Get this camera back up. Now let's see what it's going to do. Um, hopefully we'll start to see some lane changes in here. But I'm pretty much at my speed. No reason to get over at the moment. Let's see when we get closer to this truck up front. Okay, there we go. And that was pretty good. That actually got over relatively quickly. Although that guy's probably not very happy with me. So now let's see if it gets out of the fast lane like it should. Yes, yes, autopilot. All right, get over. Yeah, nice and smooth. That is awesome. Navigate on autopilot is knocking them out and doing the right thing. So there you have it, folks. That is 16.2.1 in a nutshell. I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care. So there you have it, folks. That is the latest update to the stoplight and stop sign feature, as well as autopilot. As you can see, I don't think there were a whole lot of improvements made, but I think Tesla is still working on those improvements, as I mentioned in the video. You know, some of the issues with the stoplight and stop sign feature is it works great when you're moving forward, but it doesn't necessarily work that well as you are going through an intersection. So I, th I still think that there are some things that they're working on or need to work on as it relates to that feature. Autopilot was a little bit buggy. Um, again, I think that the previous versions seem to be better than the current version that we are on today. But again, these are all things that Tesla is improving each and every day. And when they make these small tweaks and changes, there are nuances that get entered into the system that they have to work out and work through. You know, there are some things to be said about that, but I believe that both of these features will get better and have gotten better over time. The other feature that I wanted to discuss was the visualization which is actually really cool. You saw two examples of the Model 3 slowing down when it saw a pedestrian or a guy on a bicycle. Yes, the bicyclist. The bicyclist? Why can't I say that? Anyway, so some cool enhancements in 16.2.1. Don't really see any improvements as it relates to the stoplight and stop sign feature. And it appears that autopilot has not improved that much either. So thank you all so much for tuning in. We truly do appreciate it and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.